Hello and uh, welcome back to another Flight Simulator 2024 video. Uh, today I'm going to go over a no fluff kind of quick and easy tutorial on how to, to how to utilize the Garmin G1000. So currently I am in a Cessna 172, uh, but this information can be used for any plane that has a G1000. Uh, it's going to be split into three videos. First one is going to be basic settings to get anyone wanting to use the autopilot to hold their altitude or follow a flight plan or change their altitude. Um, that will be the first video. The second video will how to be input a how to input a flight plan into the G1000. So I'll show you two ways of doing that. And the third video will show you how to put departure and arrival procedures in and get your autopilot to follow them. So we will get straight on with the how to use the G1000 for basic flight. So here is the first screen of the G1000. Um, your basic things that you need to know is these three boxes at the top. The first one is kind of your left and right navigation. So at the moment we are in heading mode. So the autopilot is just flying a set heading of 001 degrees. The next box shows you that the autopilot is armed. So that is AP in green. That shows you that it's flying with the autopilot. And the third box is kind of the up down navigation. So at the moment we are holding an altitude of 2,380 feet. Um, there are ways to change this into vertical speed mode or flight level change mode, things like this, which I will show you now. So you can use either of these sets of buttons, either these ones on the left of this screen or these ones on the left of this screen. They all do the same thing. Uh, so we'll use these ones. So this button here will turn your autopilot on and off. If it's flashing yellow and goes white, it is turned off. Here again, it goes green again, turns on. FD is your flight director. So when you turn your autopilot off and turn the flight director off, it basically just takes away these purple lines showing you what the autopilot is attempting to follow next button is heading mode so at the moment we are in heading mode if we hit it once it changes it into roll mode so the autopilot will hold whatever pitch angle to roll you left or right we'll put it back into heading mode there next is the altitude mode so here you see altitude 2400 feet it will just hold us at 2400 feet press it again it goes into pitch mode that will hold whatever pitch angle you are at when you put it into that mode Next angle is nav mode. So nav mode will follow the kind of flight plans that you have loaded into your autopilot. So if I go into the second screen here, you can see I've set in a really basic flight plan of flying to SWEI. And if I hit nav mode, the plane would automatically turn to attempt to go to follow that flight plan, that purple line there. Uh, I will cover that more in the second video. Uh, next is the VNAV mode. So if you have vertical navigation mode on and you have set certain altitudes, certain waypoints on a flight plan, put into VNAV mode, the plane will automatically go to them altitudes up and down. And this is important for landing procedures that have set altitudes. Next is the approach mode. So we arm this when we are flying a ILS or a RNAV or a setup uh, landing uh, that captures the glide slope for taking you in and into a landing. The next button is the back course mode. I don't actually ever use this button, so I'd have to do some research on this myself. I will possibly cover this in the next video once I've actually had a look up onto it. Uh, the next button is the vertical speed mode. So if we press this, you can see the up down is in vertical speed mode. So if we would set a vertical speed that we want the plane to climb or descend at, and it would just hold the pitch for that vertical speed. So we'll put it back into altitude hold mode. Next is the nose up and nose down. So this is important for when using the vertical speed and the flight level change mode. Um, I will cover this once uh, we go on to how to change altitude. Uh, your flight level change is if you set a determined altitude, you the plane will climb or descend at whatever speed you set at in flight level change mode. So again, I will go over this a bit more now. So the first thing I will cover is the heading mode. So as I said, we're in heading mode at the moment. We are following a heading of 001 degrees. If we wanted to change this heading, we would scroll this wheel left or right, and you can see the plane is automatically turning left or right to follow this blue heading bug on the GPS. Um, say we were in roll mode, and the heading bug was all the way around this side. On a PC or with a mouse and keyboard, a quick way to sync the heading bug with the heading that you are currently flying is you press and hold the left click and then press the right click and it syncs with whatever heading you are on. Again, if you followed my last video and set up a hot ass controller, so your hat switch changes your heading bug, you can use your hat switch to change this bug left and right, and the plane will just follow that heading bug. So I will reset it now. So as you can see, we are holding at 2,400 feet at the moment, altitude. 
Um, I can change the altitude here, which is the big knob turns it in a thousand feet, the small knob in a hundred feet. So I could select it to climb to 3,000 feet. As you can see, it's flashing, but the plane is not doing anything. And this is because we've not let the autopilot know what altitude change mode we're wanting to do. The two options we have here is vertical speed or flight level change. So vertical speed, you can click vertical speed here and press nose up and down, and it will tell the autopilot to climb the plane at a certain vertical speed. So 100 feet per minute, 200 feet per minute. So if I press up now, the plane will pitch up to allow the plane to rise at 300 feet per minute. And as you can see, it is slowly rising. Uh, we would then just have to make sure we have enough power that the plane is not going to fall out of the sky and stall. So I will put it back into altitude hold mode. So we just hit this button and it holds whatever altitude we're at. The other option for raising or lowering your altitude, I'll go back to 3,000 feet. It's flight level change. So if I hit this button, it's going to allow the plane to climb at 94 knots. We know for this Cessna 172 that the Y value is the optimum rate of climb. So that is 75 knots. So I can hit nose down here to change the blue above the speed. And this is going to allow the plane to climb at 75 knots to the determined altitude on the left. This is optimum climb speed. So the plane will naturally just pitch up, allow it to climb at 75 knots until it reaches 2000 feet. So I will once again hit altitude hold mode. So it'll hold us at our determined altitude. And I will show you the same thing for going down. So if I wanted to drop down to 2,500 feet now, I could either hit vertical speed and hit nose down, and the plane will now descend at 300 feet per minute. Or I could hit flight level change mode, and at this point I would just have to hit nose up, and it will allow the plane to pitch forward. If I set this at 110, it will pitch forward until the plane gets to 110 knots, and it will go down to the determined altitude at this speed. So as a very brief overview to cover the, all of that, first box is left and right mode, middle box is to let you know if the autopilot is armed, right hand box is the up and down or the altitude mode. Hit this button to hold whatever altitude you're at and hit heading. And you can fly the plane just from scrolling this knob and the autopilot will automatically follow, follow this blue bug. So this should help anybody that's new to the simulator that just wants the autopilot to either hold your altitude and then a simple way of flying. In the next video I will go on to how to let it follow a flight path and how to input kind of a determined flight path into the autopilot. So I hope that helps some of you out and I will uh, I'll see you in the next video.